Hello everyone. So today I'm gonna do a quick tutorial about how to do some overclocking on Windows. So we will be using the software MSI Afterburner. So we open it. I hope you are familiar with that. But if not, you can go to check out the official website of the MSI Afterburner. So this is the interface. We have the GPU clock here, this is the core clock, this is the memory clock. We have all those other information right here. So CPU, memory, voltage, and the temperature. Uh, we can also adjust the fan speed, the power limit. Um, we can quite do quite a lot of things, but for today, I will focus on how to like do some uh, curve editing for the core clock. So in order to enable the core like curve editor, we need to uh, make a change in the setting. So go to the setting, you will need to like click those, this two, one is unlock voltage control, the other is unlock voltage monitoring. So like make sure those two are uh, checked. So there's also other, some options. I haven't tried them, but you also can try them if you want to, you can do like whatever you want try to make the selection. But for, for today's purpose, I will use the standard MSI. All right, once you click apply, and I think uh, it uh, asks you to restart uh, the software. So it just, uh, yes. All right, after the restarting, we can see that uh, the curve editor become available. So if you click a curve, you will be able to do that. So, uh, so quickly, I will, uh, like, like, let's click the curve editor. All right. So for curve editor, it's basically a graph, like for the voltage versus frequency. So on the x axis, it's the voltage from seven hundred to twelve fifty, and on the y axis is the frequency from 500 to 3000. So if you click a, a, a single point, I think then you can drag it or, along it. But if you click the point and you also press the shift to be able to shift it like vertically. All right. So I think uh, you, you can like uh, but sometimes they want, you want to to lock uh, lock the uh, frequency like across different uh, voltage. It's like, uh, for example, we want uh, it uh, to be fifteen hundred. Like it's basically a straight line, a horizontal line, right? So how to do that? So there's a little trick I wanted to show you. I think that's the main focus for today's tutorial. So uh, the trick is you can select multiple points. For example, you want to select every point on on this plane. So whenever you modify one of them, you can make basically modify every one of them. So uh, what you need, what you need to do is you can click uh, the, the like, you press the shift, you click the background, and you can drag it. So it's basically it's selection for the entire like screen. So you see, this is a difference here, right? You see, as long as the, I I press both the shift and also the left uh, mouse, I then drag it across the screen, and I see the the screen become highlighted. So, okay, I will let it go. So right now, I think the screen becomes uh, highlighted, and then I can select basically any one of them. And then I press shift and enter. And uh, I can modify it to 1500. All right, and then click enter. Watch what happens. All right, yeah, you see that become horizontal lines, but basically like it, uh, the, the core clock became locked across different voltage, like across from 700 to 1250. They are all have 1500. So I think that's basically it yet. And then at this stage, you can, uh, like you can press the control L to lock it. 
and you can click right here on the main screen. There's a, a reset. This one is save. This one is apply. We can apply it, and right, you can see. So so now you can see it becomes fifteen. Uh, fifteen. Okay. And uh, yeah, so 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 now we can save our setting. You click uh, the save icon, so you can. There's uh, five slots that you can save them. I can save them to one or two or three, four, five. I click one a bit. So all right. So so this way you can see here it becomes a curve. So it means this curve will be applied to the car clock. We can then. I think uh, there's another trick is uh, there's a button here. It says like uh, when you start the Windows, it will apply this setting at the start up of Windows. So that's also another uh, useful trick that can be used. So uh, I hope you enjoy. I think this is mainly my like today's session is about how to lock uh, the core clock. So I hope you enjoy it and. Uh, if you have any questions, please uh, uh, leave it in the comments area. I will uh, reply, and also uh, hopefully if you can subscribe to my channel. So I uh, I just got started in the in my channel. So I hope that uh, I can have uh, some at least some of the uh, people that are interested in my contents. I'll see you later. Thank you. Bye bye.